guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually a diy this look is inspired by savini i've seen her in this top quite a few times and i just thought it was so cute i had to try it out so i actually already had um this racer top in my wardrobe so i just decided to use what i already had um yeah so this is just basically the look the front and the back look of the top so what you need to do is just mark where you want to start, uh, where you want basically your line to start from and where you want it to end. So that's basically where you're going to cut across your top um, and that's where the safety pins basically will sort of lie on the top. You're, that's how your design is going to look. So I just wanted mine to be curved, so I just wanted mine to run through my chest. So I'm just marking that on the top so that I know where to cut later. Okay, so what you'll need is some safety pins. Um, so yeah, I just purchased these online. So I would recommend purchasing safety pins that have um, different sizes, different safety pin sizes. So you can basically play around um, with the opening of the top, basically, what sizes you want or what works best for you. Okay, so I've already, as you can see, I've already aligned, marked the top where I want it. Okay, so basically I decided that um, I wanted to change the design of my top. So as you can see here, I've just decided to make the line a bit more curved, um, just so that it looks a bit better when I do cut it. Um, I would recommend doing this while you're still wearing the top, it's probably easier, but I just basically imagine how I want it to be. Okay, so unfortunately I actually didn't record the part where I cut the top, but um, it's self-explanatory you just basically cut um, where you marked your top you just basically cut that and then you measure sort of um, another inch or half an inch away I think I did about an inch and then you cut another piece and then you cut basically the piece off I hope that makes sense but you can kind of tell from the video um, what I've done on there I've just basically cut a little piece of the fabric out because you're gonna put the pins on there and it's basically just gonna stretch your fabric for you so you can see the opening okay so that's basically all I've done there So as you can see, this pack comes with three different sizes. So the large, medium and small, small safety pin sizes, okay? So to begin with, right at the top, um, right at the top of the top, I'm basically going to start with the large pin sizes and then I gradually work my way through the top and move on to the medium size safety pins and then probably end with the smaller safety pins, okay? So I'm just gonna start aligning them. I'm gonna start with the large safety pin like I mentioned and just work my way through um, the top just pinning basically the two ends of the top together
basically what I'm doing here is I'm just going back to the top and I'm just adding a few more safety pins because I decided that I wanted a lot more safety pins on mine, um, on the design. So I'm just going in between the gaps and just filling in um, the gaps with more safety pins. Okay, so that's the look of the top guys. I think it's super cute and it's so easy to do. Um, I do apologize that you can probably see my nipples going on there. Um, but this is the best way I could show this video. Um, but yeah, so that's the look. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pencil line from the top. I've done my makeup because I was going to take pictures of course in this top um, so I did decide afterwards that I was actually going to change the pins at the bottom um, because I use a small one so I was going to get rid of the small pins at the bottom and actually change those to medium sized pins just so I'd have more of an opening at the bottom so yeah that's what I'm going to go ahead and do I'm just going to change those from small pins to medium pins and then show you what it looks like Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and grabbed um, a few medium sized pins. I've removed the small pins and I'm just going to add the medium sized pins um, towards the end of the top just so I have more of an opening there. There you have it guys, this is the final look of the top. I am so in love with it, I think it's super super cute and it's so easy to do. Um, if you do recreate this look, make sure you tag me, let me know and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!